Hey guys and welcome back to my channel I am QB so today's video we are going to be doing entrepreneur vlog I haven't done one in a while but um, this is probably gonna be like my second episode and I'm really excited because I keep hesitating to like start this little vlog I started it last like when my last video but I keep hesitating to like really go deeper like you know in my head I'm like oh I, I need to get to a certain level in my business for me to be able to like actually talk about or help other entrepreneurs so i'm just like sitting yesterday or whatever and i'm like okay why am i waiting like what am i waiting on like you know my business is doing pretty good right now um it's not obviously not where i want to be obviously i want to go for bigger and better but um i feel like i'm in a good place in my business to be able to even talk about you know helping other people or whatever trying to like you know give insight to just entrepreneurship and um what it really like consists of so that's why i'm like you know what let me just step into this entrepreneur vlog and just really vlog this whole journey because when my business does get to where um i want it to be like girl i'm gonna like you know i'm gonna just be more appreciative of like where i started from and all that stuff i'm probably gonna be like reading um like a list off my phone um because i wrote a couple things down you know when i start getting to thinking i'm just like let me write it down because i might forget you know and i like to get everything and just be honest so um this particular video is going to be on basically how to get more sales for your business like if you're starting out like i remember when i started out i started out like probably two years ago so when i started i was selling something something completely different at the time i was originally selling hair extensions um and then i ventured or ventured off into um lashes and lip gloss and all that stuff so i'm really just gonna get mainly into like how i improved my sales like the things that i did that helped me um what's it called get to a specific level in my business so far like since i've been established my business is called qb collections qb collections it's my collection so it's things that i handpick to um fit my aesthetic and fit my style that people also are interested in and, and love or whatever so and speaking of aesthetic that is actually on the first of our list today and um it is basically aesthetics and social media okay let's get into it because this is like really one of the parts that i take pride in um my page has really elevated from what it is what it was before to what it is now so yeah i'm usually on social media so i like to like look at like i look at other pages for inspiration first of all like i like to look at other pages and see like oh what made me click their page like what made me interested to want to scroll down and look more and click other stuff or whatever and find out more about this company i just saw it was like their aesthetic their page you know it's just how they post their pictures the alignment the colors um the quality a little bit of everything basically um if your page is like messy good luck sis because i'm not gonna want to like if you if you okay basically if you got pale lashes you trying to buy right i mean you trying to sell right and you put it like on a dirty carpet and you take a picture you think people are gonna want to buy that <laughs> you really think like you really think people gonna want to buy that no no sis so you just have to really just capture best lighting um if you don't got an iphone try to edit it um take you know just good pictures good quality pictures of things and just post them even pictures that you have to like i guess borrow per se not like pictures of other people's products but i'm talking about like um what's it called like mean pictures like really cute aesthetic looking like let me show y'all my instagram um so y'all can see how my aesthetic looks so this is my page on instagram as you can see my aesthetic is really nice like i try as much as possible to include like that pink color that baby pink color to like every line um see this is what i mean by when i say means that have like the color aesthetic that you want for your page see i even i showed you guys the glasses 
this is the glasses I was wearing earlier and you know just take things on like white backgrounds good quality definitely definitely use flash why am i not in focus okay there we go um definitely definitely use flash with a lot of your stuff like try to take pictures in the daytime so it could come out like real crisp and clean um what else like just really capture it like bro come on now stop playing with me stop playing with me let me show y'all this okay see this is how you capture a lash picture so yeah just basically pictures like that will get people to like be automatically attracted to your page and like oh what she got what she like what is she selling like let me you know find out like what's up with this business what's up with this company or whatever the next thing we're going to be talking about is marketing which basically equals to ads um trying to get your product out there trying to get your name out there trying to basically um you know just get more traffic to your website get more traffic to your business um that's really hard marketing is hard but if you know a, a little tips and tricks and everything and you, you you're gonna get to it like you're gonna you're gonna eventually like pick up on little things um it's not easy honestly but for one instagram does help because um instagram actually um instagram actually gives you the opportunity to get do ads and like pay them for you for them to basically put your page on a bigger platform and just like help you reach certain followers that are, might be interested in your page that might click on your page that might eventually be customers you can really like tune it to your liking and make it to where you control the type of people that are seeing your page or that are getting your ads but i know that instagram algorithm they trying me they trying me they really really are trying me and they need to stop they need to cut it out you can also do other form of ads like you can go in person to like stores and just give out your business cards like you can do that i don't do that personally because i'm shy i'm not even gonna lie i am shy like i do not do that stuff but you know it's a work in progress because i have to step out of that at the end of the day like i'm an entrepreneur i'm a business owner like i have to be able to like just be comfortable with just going up to people and just being like here i own this because like people be coming up to me sometimes and they be like oh i love you lashes girl or when i used to sell hair i love your hair where'd you get your hair from and i would automatically give them my business card be like yeah you know follow me on instagram or whatever like find my page blah, 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 whatever you, you can't let your shyness like you know get in the way of your success you just have to break out of this okay so another one that's really really helpful is sending free items to influencers although it does have its pros and its cons and i hate it so much sometimes but i am grateful because i feel like i have come across some influencers and makeup artists whatever that have helped my business and have actually brought sales to my business but for the most part girl sometimes it really just be trash like it you just you would get all types of people like you would get all types of people that would be like constantly answering your message when you when you send them packages when you when you say you're about to send them packages right they'll answer all your messages answer all your messages real fast yeah honey yes yeah, sweetie yeah okay yeah send them send them you know all that as soon as you send the package <sighs> one month two months three months four months five months many months later and then seven years later you finally get your promotion like it just really be unprofessional how people think sometimes like i just be so annoyed like i reach out to you you know in a professional manner whatever we talk about me sending you a package and it's like all these months done past all these weeks done past and you haven't promoted the product then you get me tight then you really get me tight and i'm just like you know i still keep my professionalism though either way like that's a given like never lose touch with that okay it don't matter how bad the situation is you always have to keep your professionalism it doesn't matter to my business owners my entrepreneurs out there who are trying to you know um do this entrepreneurship and who are trying to send things to influences especially for free okay especially for free um you need to be aware because some people will waste your time some people won't promote the products some people will take months to promote the product and um you just have to know how to handle that you can't get out of character that's one thing you can't get out of character you can't um 
like curse them out oh you can't use perfect like you just can't you just can't you have to keep it professional because at the end of the day that's your business that's your name on that you are going to take fall for that at the end of the day so you have to keep that professionalism no matter how much you just want to lash out or whatever the case is you know but yeah lesson learned on some of those um business encounters i had with some of those influencers but i do appreciate like the people who do help my business okay. so since we are already on a topic of professionalism we might as well talk about customer service <laughs> my favorite part okay of having a business is customer service because i feel like when i receive customers good customer service from other companies like it makes me feel good it makes me feel confident in what they're doing what they're selling me and um it also makes me want to come back and buy more you know when i receive a really good customer service it's really important when you have a business because you know bad customer service <laughs> is a no-go baby <laughs> okay i don't know who okay i don't know who what where how you think you're going okay with bad customer service because this it's just not happening it's not happening especially in 2020 it's not happening baby like i'm not wasting my time i'm not wasting my time at all bye done cut off okay some of these companies be walling honestly truly but i make sure my customer service is really up to par because i know that it leaves a either a good taste or a bad taste in a customer's mouth and um you know i just don't want my business to be known as oh that's that company like she mm, i don't like her 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 um what's it called her business her company or whatever because you know their 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 customer service is trash it just leaves a really bad taste in people's mouth when your customer service sucks especially how you talk to people it's disgusting how some of y'all really address people like don't hey sweetie me don't hey boo me don't hey honey me. don't don't hey babe me okay like just don't do it don't it's just not professional okay no hey babe is kind of cute because it's like especially if you own like a beauty company or whatever hey babe hey gorgeous or but not even like gorgeous just gorge hey gorge it's not even gorge like just don't even don't even compliment nobody why are you complimenting people okay you are a business account stop playing this is really how you do it well first of all you gotta greet so you basically greet them you say hi thank you for reaching out how may i assist you or whatever how what can i help you with like what's the problem you at least thank them for reaching out or trying to inquire about something trying to ask you a question trying to even look at your company as like a potential place that they can buy this from or buy that from or whatever the case is buy your product how you greet people really sets like that first impression of who's behind the business or who's helping out with the business so it's just really really important to me like and i feel like every entrepreneur should be thinking like that because if you really want your business to go far you have to think like that you because how would you want to be greeted if you entered you know somebody dms or whatever so there's one more on the list before i go because i gotta go to dinner with my friend michelle hey michelle if you're watching this hey girl hey girl hey girl but um <laughs> yeah so the last one is going to be hashtags okay i cannot stress this enough baby um hashtags is very very important um i just feel like some people really feel like it's not like they feel like they they too good to use hashtags and that's really not the case honey because hashtags be bringing me most of my sales like you best believe it okay hashtags be bringing me most of my followers and most of my likes it brings more engagement on your page whether you like it or not like you just just i feel like okay some people feel like oh they don't know how to hide it i feel like maybe that might be the problem sometimes what i do is i post my picture post my caption and then in the comments i comment again the hashtags because people on the hashtag can still see your picture whether it's in the comments or in the caption so i just do that or another thing i do is i write my caption and then i leave like maybe three dots or like i leave one long line and a space in between and then i put my hashtags on the bottom so nobody really visibly sees it they just see your caption at first and then when they click for more they can see your hashtags so i just feel like why not use hashtags like it brings a lot of traffic to your page and it's another form of marketing so why not Oh, so the sun is going down and it's kind of making in here look real nice and calm, calm vibes. My studio is really, really cute. 
I don't want to show y'all too much. My studio is really, really cute. Let me know if I should do a studio tour because I've actually been in the studio for well over two years now. So yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I definitely, definitely hope to make more videos like this because it's really exciting. I definitely am going to be doing more entrepreneur vlogs. And um, let me know what else like y'all want to know in the comments below. Like, comment, subscribe. Okay, I'm outie. Bye.